All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use a French press the right and the easy way. All right, so a lot of people say that you need to cook your water on the stove, but I always do mine in the microwave just because it saves me time and effort. But if you do it on the stove, you want it to the point where like it just starts to bubble, but not fully boiling. All right, if you're gonna take the easy eight way out like me and not cook it on the stove, and you're gonna do it one of those things, I do it for like, three minutes and 30 seconds, something like that. Usually gets, gets it right to where you want it. But the next and most important step is seeing the, how ground up your coffee is. You want it like a solid medium. If it's too small, it's just gonna go right through the filter. If it's too big, it's gonna clog the filter. So like right in the medium, ish is what I would say. And chances are that if you bought a French press, it came with one of these little dandy scoopers and it's gonna tell you exactly how much to put in there, but in case it didn't, uh, I usually put just a couple or tablespoons in there, you know, just enough. It doesn't really matter if it's exact. The easiest part, you just take your water, just dump it in there, miss most of it, spill it on your foot and burn yourself. Yep, do that. Your smart home Alexa, set a four minute timer. Four minutes, starting now. Now what you want to do is you want to take your top, put it in there. So it just pushes it down just a little bit, and then there you go. Once your timer goes off, you just kind of, you know, just kind of plunge it. You don't want to go too fast. Don't want to go too slow, just like a solid middle. Once again, this doesn't really matter. Just personal preference. And then uh, you're done. Enjoy your coffee. All right. I'm a little upset, and I've noticed a pattern, because I do a lot of things with different technology, different platforms, and, okay, get, be, get a little bit more quiet. And the new thing with customer service, and this has happened with Cricut customer service, which I have my phone plan through, DoorDash support, Postmates support, and it, it's, I'm just over it. What they'll do is that they'll, they're never able, able to actually solve my issues, so what they'll be like is they'll be like, Oh, we'll give you a call back, or my supervisor will call you back. And then they just never do it. So, like, the last time I was talking to DoorDash support, I, they were like, Oh, we'll have, a, we'll have a supervisor call you back in five minutes. And I said, No, we're not doing that. I will stay right here until they cut. And they're like, We can't do it. And I'm like, I do not receive a call back. And she promised me. She was like, Oh, I promise you'll receive. And they just never do. And... I don't know if this is just like a COVID thing or what, but I'm starting to get like super pissed off at all of these companies that you can't. So like Cricket, I'm paying for a hotspot on my phone and it, it doesn't work on my phone. And I've tried to call them probably five or six times about it. And every single time they tell me they're going to call me back and then they never do. So come on customer support if you pay or er, customer support for cricket or doordash if you have people paying or losing money because of something and you will not talk to them that's ridiculous i've been on the phone with cricket customer support for tw over 20 minutes and i finally got to talk to somebody and so during covid they gave everybody that had cricket a free hotspot right and my phone worked with it. Now I have an unlocked Google Pixel. It's not through Cricket. It's my own phone that's unlocked, meaning I can use it with pretty much any company. And during COVID they gave everybody that has Cricket a free hotspot. That ended, so we ended up just buying a hotspot. Now they're telling me that my phone isn't compatible with the hotspot because it's not a Cricket phone, even though I know that they already gave me one. So they're able to give me a free one, but they won't give me the one that I paid for. And the, Cricket, come on, dude. Come on, guys. We're paying for this. You can't tell us that it's not compatible when you already gave us a hotspot. It, it, it feels like you're trying to scam us into, or force us into buying a Cricket phone for us to get the hotspot. It would have been nice if you would have told us that before we bought it. You can't tell me my phone's not compatible when you already gave me a hotspot. I'm getting... A little frustrated cricket by a little. I mean, I'm extremely frustrated. Dalai Lama's big book of happiness isn't uh, helping me out very much now. 
Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. So, what happened was I was listening to like the dial tone ringer, whatever you want to call it, for like 10 minutes. And then the first lady I talked to said, thanks for waiting on the line. And then it just went right back to this. I've been on the phone with these people for 40 minutes. Cricket. Fix it. Happy birthday. We were on the phone for over an hour and then she just hung up on me. This is d insane. This is brutal. Baby,